Hiya! If you're a girl looking for some help selecting the perfect size Benzac jeans, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of selecting your perfect size. I will also give you some tips and tricks to help you through the first weeks and how to end up with a perfectly molded pair of jeans around your body. Before selecting the size to order, it's important to carefully check the measurement chart provided on the product page. Select a good fitting pair of jeans from your closet for reference and measure it using a measuring tape following our measuring guide. I highly recommend using a non-stretch, 100% cotton pair of jeans for comparison. In case you don't own such a pair yet, don't worry. As long as it's not power stretch, you will be able to compare the measurement quite accurately. When comparing it using the stretch denim, and if your measurements fall in between two sizes, go for the bigger one. When you're in doubt, you can always contact us for help. Our team will gladly guide you through the process. Or you can also order two sizes. Try them on at home and keep the one that fits best. That brings us to the next step. You have selected your size, placed your order, and the jeans arrived at your place. Now it's time to try them on for the first time. First of all, yes, it seems to be impossible to get them on. You might even need to lay down to fully zip them up and close the button. This is normal, trust me. I went through the same and it will all be worth it in the end. You might think that you want to size up at this stage, but remember, the jeans will stretch and you don't want to end up with a pair that sits too loose around your body. The rule of thumb is, as long as you're able to close that button, it's not too tight. The tighter you get them, the better they can mould around your body, creating that perfect fit over time. There are some key points to look out for when trying on your new jeans. The waist should be as tight as possible. The size shown on the right might feel better in the beginning, but it's already too loose. I really recommend trying to find a pair that fits as tight as the one on the left. The front size around the crotch area should be flat and without excess fabric, as shown on the right. When you're able to pinch a couple of centimetres of fabric between your fingers, the size is too big. The same goes for the back. You are looking for a snug fit with as little excess fabric as possible. The size as shown on the left will give your bum a little lift, while the size on the right will do the opposite over time. You don't want that. Now that you have found your perfect fit, it's time to break them in. If you want to get them hemmed, we recommend doing this after they're broken in. This process will take two to three weeks. In the meantime, you can cuff them during break-in. The reason I recommend you to wait is that the creases still need to set in, making the length slightly shorter. This way you avoid ending up with a pair that is too short. I like to wear my jeans with a little cuff anyway, so I got my jeans hemmed a bit longer to accommodate the turn-up. This also allows for some tolerance after washing. Even though Benzac jeans are sanferized, which means shrinkage is very minimal after wash, they could still shrink a little bit. This might just be enough to go from perfect to too short, so keeping a bit of tolerance is something I would always recommend. During break-in time, make sure not to hold back. The more you wear them, the quicker they start to mould around your body. You will already feel a difference after a few hours of wear, so you can imagine the difference after a week or even two weeks. I think this is one of the most interesting parts of experiencing raw denim for the first time. You will get attached to your jeans and eventually never want to take them off. The jeans are broken in when creases appear below the front pockets and at the back of the knees. Now it's time to get them hemmed. As I explained before, I recommend leaving a bit of length for possible shrinkage. Three to four centimetres is more than enough. But you could also decide to keep them longer for higher turn-ups. That's all up to you. Now that your jeans are hemmed at your desired length, all you need to do is keep wearing them and watch them slowly evolve into your new favourite pair of jeans.